What's going on guys in today's video we're talking about how to set up the fps killer script this is the universal script that can work for every single game it was made by my boy floaty he kind of he, he switched it up a little bit this was already an old script he just simply added in his brand new polar tracking aim assist which is honestly one of the best tracking aim assist i've ever used i don't know how he cooked it up i don't know who helped him but man when i turn on the tracking aim assist on this script it hits different okay so first things first you're going to join my vip lifetime community or you can join a floaty's community to grab the script it will eventually be free within the next probably month and a half. So this is like a pre-sale, just like how everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? Cronus Zen allows it. They're all cool with it. So that's how we're doing it now. Um, you can join on my Lifetime community to get it. Once you join up the Lifetime community, you simply create a ticket. And within 48 hours, you will grab the script. Okay, we'll have it sent to you. Also, my Lifetime community, we can also set up calls. I'll actually show you my Lifetime Discord right now. I have a lot of DMs. Man, look at this. A lot of DMs, man. Just piling in. So... Over here, guys, in my lifetime Discord, you can click this book one-on-one -on -one call to create a call with me, okay? That's if you need help setting up anything. 20-minute calls, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. EST, Monday to Thursday, okay? So, back to the tutorial. Once you download the script, you're going to click File, click Open. And for me, it's in my home. It's right over here at the top, okay? For you, it'll be in your downloads. So, you click Downloads over here, and then you click the script, right? Next thing, guys, you're going to obviously, once you click it, it'll open up on your compiler, you're going to click programmer you're going to click gpc scripts and you're going to click and drag the script into an empty slot once you drag it into empty slot you're going to click this button right over here that's, that's flashing that is program device right now we're going to set up with the controller this is a super simple script to set up and let's get into it all right guys so to enter the script man you're going to hold l3 and r3 so your two right and left sticks you're going to press them down together and you will see the script okay so Right now, my Zen is just bugging for some reason, but okay, now it should be good. You can use the left stick, and you'll see this little cursor, okay? Now, first things first, at the top, you'll see the mod that you're on, so we're on aim assist. When you press this over here, and you click X or A, you can go through the mods, okay? So you can see rapid fire, and recoil hair triggers, mod 2, all of these things over here. Mod 3, you can see other mods. I like messing with just these two mods over here. So, polder and tracker. So, to enable it, guys, you press E to enable. Okay, so E will enable it. Oops, sorry, cl sorry click it here. E is to adjust the values. You have to click on off and on to turn it on, or on and off. So, I click X to turn this on. I go down, click X to turn this on. Go over to polder, okay? Now, for polder, guys, the most important values you just want to use is a maximum of 1010. 10, okay, this is a very, very strong script. So, I like using the value that I like using to guys on polar. Like I said, sorry, I had a little cutout is a maximum of 10, 10. So I'm going to share with you guys aim assist values in today's video. And I want you to copy them and you will have insane results. So polar guys, it's a little bit tricky. This script is very, very tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. It's the values do like it's tricky. There's some stuff you have to adjust within the compiler that can change the values. It's very tricky. Okay. So I like using a seven speed with 11 radius on the polar. Okay. That's the value that we're currently using. I have a lot of good feedback because I have currently have a team of five people. And if you want to join my Amos's value testing team, just let me know, guys. You know, I'll let you join up the team. If you're a VIP lifetime member and you've been here for a long time and adjust and understand values, you guys can easily join up my community to be a tester. So now press circle, guys. Go over to tracker, click X on E, and the strength for tracking, I just set it to six. Okay. Now, if you want to know how to adjust Amos's values so that you guys can get better results, I I will link a video down below in the comments. You guys need to watch that video so you know how to adjust your Amos's values. These are the base values that we start off with. And from here, you can obviously adjust it. So press this right here. Now, guys, next thing we want to use, obviously, is anti-recoil. So as we saw in, uh, in Warzone 3, guys, the recoil is not that much like of a problem. That's why, honestly, I've been, I've been loafing the anti-recoil spreadsheets because, guys, honestly... A vertical value of around 23 to 28 works amazing. So you're going to click X over here, increase it to around 20, 23 to 28. Like I said, I use 26 now. This is my new value. Uh, keep it at this. And that's pretty much all the stuff that I use. Now, guys, you can see there's other mods like hair trigger. You can enable this. Okay, hair trigger is definitely a good mod. You can press the right D-pad over here. I will not use anything else. And that's pretty much it. If you're sniping, you can use hold breath. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's all that I use. Now, sniper aim, I don't use sniper aim unless I am sniping. You guys can just enable that, but I keep it off. And then from here, guys, press circle and the values will save. Now, some people were saying that the values might reset when you change scripts. 
and that actually might be the case we're still working on the testing because for me it doesn't happen but if it does happen guys write down your values on a piece of paper and just simply adjust it when you are using the super as you guys can see l3 r3 when I go to my values, they're saved. Okay, so the script will work. Okay, so the script's not an issue. It just might be a little reset thing when you're going through other scripts. Okay, that's all for me, guys, for the setup. It's a super simple setup, and that's all for me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.